Hi, I'm Bobby Albani. I'm currently a freshman here at MIT. Um, I'm from Philadelphia, and I'm thinking of studying either mechanical engineering or computer science. Uh, apart from coursework, I'm also on the squash team here, um, and I'm also the social chair of uh, the Japanese Student Union. What most drew me to MIT was just that I didn't want to take humanities classes. <laughs> um, and I had a really strong passion for STEM, um, specifically more towards math and physics. Um, I guess towards computer science as well and I think this is definitely the environment in which like that is really I guess important um, and I guess what they want so I think that's what initially drew me to MIT. Actually the way that I learned about Crimson was through um, my parents which is like you know what not not that surprising but <laughs> um, yeah no I think throughout my time in Crimson I was able to gain a lot of help for I guess structuring my extracurricular activities and also my essays, definitely my essays. Um, yeah, and so I guess for extracurriculars, um, they definitely helped me to find ways in which I could, I guess, obtain leadership um, experience and also, uh, I guess, like what sort of things I should do to show, I guess, that I'm really passionate in certain things, which, I mean, obviously I am, but just like <laughs> really getting into the nitty gritty, I guess. Um, and for my essays, I think there's a lot of hours where I'd spent uh, calling <laughs> a lot of Crimson people, really just like trying to nail down what I should talk about, uh, how to really show every aspect of myself um, and communicate that to the um, admissions officers at every school that I was applying to. So I think that really helped um, really being able to show every side of me and also to be able to communicate that in an interesting way, in a way that um, officers would really like look at it and maybe see that it stands out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, I worked on I worked on essays with actually I think two different people. Um, one that sort of like overlooked the entire essay process, and then one that really looked into um, each essay and um, I guess how how it sounded. I guess. Um, and how it was worded. Um, and then apart from that, I also worked with someone uh, for my extracurriculars um, who would sort of like take me through my whole, I guess, like story as it's told um, through my extracurriculars um, and how I could maybe modify that. I guess my main point of advice would be to start early. Really get a head start on it. Um, make sure that you're able to um, I guess differentiate between schools that you really want to go to and schools that you like would be happy to go to but like maybe not so much um, and then I guess from there maybe creative list of what you should be working on now and what you can maybe work on later um, it's just really important I think to get a, a big head start on it uh, make sure that you <laughs> that you can really know uh, what you're writing down because it is a very long process um, and the more time you have uh, the better essay you're gonna get in the end. Um, and apart from that, um, maybe if you maybe if you don't have so much time, I think um, the important step would be to make sure you know what you want to write about and what you are saying in your essays, um, and making sure that you're filling really every single space that you can to show. I guess um, now that I'm IoT, I am so thankful that I am past that phase. Um, I'm definitely. Uh, really thankful for for the team that helped me uh, get here, um, and I'm just like, I don't know, just looking back, um, it's just been really great to be able to find my own sort of community, uh, especially in a place where um, I think I'm really happy. So, yeah. <laughs>